X Advanced Interactive Executive Pronounced is a series of proprietary Unix operating systems developed and sold by IBM for several of its computer platforms. Originally released for the IBM 6150 RISC workstation, X now supports or has supported a wide variety of hardware platforms, including the IBM RS 6000 series and later Power and Po RPC based systems, IBM System I, System 370 mainframes, PS2 personal computers, and the Apple network server. X is based on Unix System V with four Bahamian dollars and 30 cents compatible extensions. It is one of six commercial operating systems that have versions certified to the Open Group's Unix 03 standard the others being macOS, Solaris, Inspir KUX, HP UX, and Euleros. The X family of operating systems debuted in 1986, became the standard operating system for the RS-6000 series on its launch in 1990, and is still actively developed by IBM. It is currently supported on IBM Power Systems alongside IBM i and Linux. X was the first operating system to have a journaling file system, and IBM has continuously enhanced the software with features such as processor, disk and network virtualization, dynamic hardware resource allocation including fractional processor units, and reliability engineering ported from its mainframe designs. Topic History Unix started life at AT&T's Bell Labs Research Center in the early 1970s, running on DEC minicomputers. By 1976, the operating system was in use at various academic institutions, including Princeton, where Tom Leone and others ported it to the S-370, to run as a guest OS under VM-370. This port would later grow out to become UTS, a mainframe Unix offering by IBM's competitor Amdahl Corporation. IBM's own involvement in Unix can be dated to 1979, when it assisted Bell Labs in doing its own Unix port to the 370 to be used as a build host for the 5 ESS switches software. In the process, IBM made modifications to the TSS-370 hypervisor to better support Unix. It took until 1985 for IBM to offer its own Unix on the S-370 platform, X-370, which was developed by Interactive Systems Corporation and intended by IBM to compete with Amdahl UTS. The operating system offered special facilities for interoperating with PC, X, Interactive, IBM's version of Unix for IBM PC compatible hardware, and was licensed at $10,000 per 16 concurrent users. X version 1, introduced in 1986 for the IBM 6150 RT workstation, was based on Unix System V releases 1 and 2. In developing X, IBM and Interactive Systems Corporation whom IBM contracted also incorporated source code from 4.2 and 4 Bahamian dollars and 30 cents Unix. Among other variants, IBM later produced X version 3 also known as X, 6000, based on System V Release 3, for their power-based RS, 6000 platform. Since 1990, X has served as the primary operating system for the RS-6000 series later renamed IBM eServer P series, then IBM System P, and now IBM Power Systems. X version 4, introduced in 1994, added symmetric multiprocessing with the introduction of the first RS-6000 SMP servers and continued to evolve through the 1990s, culminating with X 4.3.3 in 1999. Version 4.1, in a slightly modified form, was also the standard operating system for the Apple network server systems sold by Apple Computer to complement the Macintosh line. In the late 1990s, under Project Monterey, IBM and the Santa Cruz operation planned to integrate X and Unixware into a single 32-bit, 64-bit multiplatform Unix with particular emphasis on running on Intel IA64 Itanium architecture CPUs. A beta test version of X5L for IA64 systems was released, but according to documents released in the SCOV. IBM lawsuit, less than 40 licenses for the finished Monterey Unix were ever sold before the project was terminated in 2002. In 2003, the SCO group alleged that among other infractions, IBM had misappropriated licensed source code from Unix System V release 4 for incorporation into X. SCO subsequently withdrew IBM's license to develop and distribute X. IBM maintains that their license was irrevocable and continued to sell and support the product until the litigation was adjudicated. X was a component of the 2003 SCOV. 
IBM lawsuit, in which the SCO Group filed a lawsuit against IBM, alleging IBM contributed SCO's intellectual property to the Linux codebase. The SCO Group, who argued they were the rightful owners of the copyrights covering the Unix operating system, attempted to revoke IBM's license to sell or distribute the X operating system. In March 2010, a jury returned a verdict finding that Novell, not the SCO Group, owns the rights to Unix. X6 was announced in May 2007, and it ran as an open beta from June 2007 until the general availability of X6.1 on November 9, 2007. Major new features in X6.1 included full role-based access control, workload partitions which enable application mobility, enhanced security addition of AES encryption type for NFS v3 and v4, and live partition mobility on the POWER6 hardware. X7.1 was announced in April 2010, and an open beta ran until general availability of X7.1 in September 2010. Several new features, including better scalability, enhanced clustering and management capabilities were added. X7.1 includes a new built-in clustering capability called Cluster Aware X. X is able to organize multiple LPARs through the multipath communications channel to neighboring CPUs, enabling very high-speed communication between processors. This enables multi-terabyte memory address range and page table access to support global petabyte shared memory space for XPOWER7 clusters so that software developers can program a cluster as if it were a single system, without using message passing i.e. semaphore-controlled inter-process communication. X administrators can use this new capability to cluster a pool of X nodes. By default, XV7.1 pins kernel memory and includes support to allow applications to pin their kernel stack. Pinning kernel memory and the kernel stack for applications with real-time requirements can provide performance improvements by ensuring that the kernel memory and kernel stack for an application is not paged out. X7.2 was announced in October 2015, and released in December 2015. X7.2 principal feature is the live kernel update capability which allows OS fixes to replace the entire X kernel with no impact to applications. X7.2 was also restructured to remove obsolete components. The networking component, boss.net.tcp.client was repackaged to allow additional installation flexibility. Unlike X7.1, X7.2 is only supported on systems based on POWER7 or later processors. Topic. Supported hardware platforms Topic. IBM 6150RT The original X, sometimes called X, RT, was developed for the IBM 6150RT workstation by IBM in conjunction with Interactive Systems Corporation, who had previously ported Unix System 3 to the IBM PC for IBM as PC, X. According to its developers, the X source for this initial version consisted of 1 million lines of code. Installation media consisted of 8 1.2M floppy disks. The RT was based on the ROMP microprocessor, the first commercial RISC chip. This was based on a design pioneered at IBM Research, the IBM 801. One of the novel aspects of the RT design was the use of a microkernel called Virtual Resource Manager (VRM). The keyboard, mouse, display, disk drives and network were all controlled by a microkernel. One could hotkey from one operating system to the next using the Alt-Tab key combination. Each OS in turn would get possession of the keyboard, mouse and display. Besides XV2, the PIC OS also included this microkernel. Much of the XV2 kernel was written in the Place 8 programming language, which proved troublesome during the migration to XV3. XV2 included full TCP, IP networking, as well as SNA and two networking file systems, NFS, licensed from Sun Microsystems, and distributed services DS. DS had the distinction of being built on top of SNA, and thereby being fully compatible with DS on the IBM midranges, 400 and mainframe systems. For the graphical user interfaces, XV2 came with the X10R3 and later the X10R4 and X11 versions of the X window system from MIT, together with the Athena widget set. Compilers for Fortran and C were available. One of the more popular desktop applications was the PageMaker desktop publishing software. 
IBM PS2 series XPS2 also known as X386 was developed by Locus Computing Corporation under contract to IBM. XPS2, first released in 1987, ran on IBM PS2 personal computers with Intel 386 and compatible processors. The product was announced in September 1988 with a baseline tag price of $595, although some utilities like UUCP were included in a separate extension package priced at $250. NROF and TROF for X were also sold separately in a text formatting system package priced at $200. The TCP IP stack for XPS2 retailed for another $300. The X window package was priced at $195, while the C and Fortran compilers each had a price tag of $275. Locus also made available their DOS Merge virtual machine environment for X, which could run MS DOS 3.3 applications inside X. DOS Merge was sold separately for another $250. IBM also offered a $150 XPS2 DOS server program, which provided file server and print server services for client computers running PC DOS 3.3. The last version of PS2X is 1.3. It was released in 1992 and announced to add support for non-IBM non computers as well. Support for PS2X ended in March 1995. Topic IBM mainframes In 1988, IBM announced X-370, also developed by Locus Computing. X-370 was IBM's fourth attempt to offer Unix-like functionality for their mainframe line, specifically the System-370 the prior versions were a TSS-370-based Unix system developed jointly with AT&T C.1980, a VM-370-based system named vm -X developed jointly with Interactive Systems Corporation C.1984, and a VM-370-based version of TSS-370 named X-370. 370 which was upgraded to be compatible with Unix System V. X-370 was released in 1990 with functional equivalents to System V Release 2 and 4 Bahamian dollars and 30 cents as well as IBM enhancements. With the introduction of the ESA-390 architecture, X-370 was replaced by X-ESA in 1991, which was based on OSF-1, and also ran on the System-390 platform. This development effort was made partly to allow IBM to compete with Amdahl UTS. Unlike X-370, X-ESA ran both natively as the host operating system, and as a guest under VM. X-ESA, while technically advanced, had little commercial success, partially because Unix functionality was added as an option to the existing mainframe operating system, MVS, which became MVS, ESA Open Edition in 1999. Topic EA64 Systems As part of Project Monterey, IBM released a beta test version of X5L for the EA64 Itanium architecture in 2001, but this never became an official product due to lack of interest. Topic. Apple Network Servers The Apple Network Server ANS systems were PoRPC-based systems designed by Apple Computer to have numerous high-end features that standard Apple hardware did not have, including swappable hard drives, redundant power supplies, and external monitoring capability. These systems were more or less based on the Power Macintosh hardware available at the time but were designed to use X versions 4.1.4 or 4.1.5 as their native operating system in a specialized version specific to the ANS called X for Apple Network Servers. X was only compatible with the network servers and was not ported to standard Power Macintosh hardware. It should not be confused with AUX, Apple's earlier version of Unix for 68K-based Macintoshes. Topic. Power, PoRPC-based systems The release of X version 3 sometimes called X, 6, coincided with the announcement of the first POWER1-based IBM RS, 6000 models in 1990. XV3 innovated in several ways on the software side. It was the first operating system to introduce the idea of a journaling file system, JFS, which allowed for fast boot times by avoiding the need to ensure the consistency of the file systems on disks on every reboot. 
Another innovation was shared libraries which avoid the need for static linking from an application to the libraries it used. The resulting smaller binaries used less of the hardware RAM to run, and used less disk space to install. Besides improving performance, it was a boon to developers. Executable binaries could be in the tens of kilobytes instead of a megabyte for an executable statically linked to the C library. XV3 also scrapped the microkernel of XV2, a contentious move that resulted in V3 containing no place, I code and being somewhat more pure than V2. Other notable subsystems included. Iris GL, a 3D rendering library, the progenitor of OpenGL. Iris GL was licensed by IBM from SGI in 1987, then still a fairly small company, which had sold only a few thousand machines at the time. SGI also provided the low-end graphics card for the RS-6000, capable of drawing 20,000 Goro shaded triangles per second. The high-end graphics card was designed by IBM, a follow-on to the mainframe-based IBM 5080, capable of rendering 990,000 vectors per second. PHIGS, another 3D rendering API, popular in automotive CAD, CAM circles, and at the core of CATIA. Full implementation of version 11 of the X window system, together with Motif as the recommended widget collection and window manager. Network file systems, NFS from Sun, AFS, the Andrew file system, and DFS, the distributed file system. NCS, the network computing system, licensed from Apollo Computer, later acquired by HP. DPS on-screen display system. This was notable as a plan B, in case the X11 plus motif combination failed in the marketplace. However, it was highly proprietary, supported only by Sun, Next, and IBM. This cemented its failure in the marketplace in the face of the open systems challenge of X11 Plus Motif and its lack of 3D capability. As of 2015, X runs on IBM Power, System P, System I, System P5, System I5, eServer P5, eServer P series, and eServer I5 server product lines, as well as IBM Blade Center Blades and IBM PureFlex compute nodes based on Power architecture technology. Topic. POWER7 X features X7.1 fully exploits systems based on POWER7 processors include the active memory expansion feature, which increases system flexibility where system administrators can configure logical partitions to use less physical memory. For example, an LPAR running X appears to the OS applications to be configured with 80 GB of physical memory but the hardware actually only consumes 60 GB of physical memory. Active Memory Expansion is a virtual memory compression system which employs memory compression technology to transparently compress in memory data, allowing more data to be placed into memory and thus expanding the memory capacity of POWER7 systems. Using active memory expansion can improve system utilization and increase a system's throughput. X7 automatically manages the size of memory pages used to automatically use 4 kilobytes, 64 kilobytes or a combination of those page sizes. This self-tuning feature results in optimized performance without administrative effort. Topic: POWER8X features. X7.2 exploits POWER8 hardware features including accelerators and 8-way hardware multithreading. Topic: Versions. Topic: Version history. Topic: Power PO RPC releases. XV7.2, October 5, 2015 Live update for interim fixes, service packs and technology levels, replaces the entire X kernel without impacting applications. Flash-based filesystem caching. Cluster-aware X automation with repository replacement mechanism. SRIOV-backed VNIC, or dedicated VNIC virtualized network adapter support. RDS v3 over ROS adds support of the Oracle RDS v3 protocol over the Mellanox Connect ROS adapters. Requires POWER7 or newer CPUs. 
XV7.1, September 10, 2010 support for 256 cores, 1024 threads in a single LPAR. The ability to run XV5.2 or V5.3 inside of a workload partition An XML profile-based system configuration management utility Support for export of fiber channel adapters to WPARs VIOS disk support in a WPAR Cluster Aware X X event infrastructure Role-based access control RBAC with domain support for multi-tenant environments XV6.1, November 9, 2007 Workload Partitions WPARs, Operating System Level Virtualization Live Application Mobility Live Partition Mobility Security Role-Based Access Control RBAC X Security Expert, a system and network security hardening tool Encrypting JFS2 file system Trusted X Trusted Execution Integrated Electronic Service Agent for Auto Error Reporting Concurrent Kernel Maintenance Kernel Exploitation of POWER6 Storage Keys ProbeView Dynamic Tracing Systems Director Console for X Integrated File System Snapshot Requires POWER4 or newer CPUs X6 withdrawn from marketing effective April 2016 and from support effective April, 2017. X5L 5.3, August 13, 2004, end of support April 30, 2012. NFS version 4. Advanced accounting. Virtual SCSI. Virtual Ethernet. Exploitation of simultaneous multithreading. SMT. Micro partitioning enablement. POWER5 exploitation JFS2 quotas Ability to shrink a JFS2 file system Kernel scheduler has been enhanced to dynamically increase and decrease the use of virtual processors. X5L5. 2. October 18, 2002, end of support April 30, 2009 Ability to run on the IBM Blade Center JS20 with the PO RPC 970 Minimum level required for POWER5 hardware MPIO for fiber channel disks ISCSI initiator software Participation in dynamic LPAR Concurrent I.O. feature introduced for JFS2 released in maintenance level 01 in May 2003 X5L 5.1, May 4, 2001, end of support April 1, 2006 Ability to run on an EA64 architecture processor, although this never went beyond beta. Minimum level required for POWER4 hardware and the last release that worked on the micro-channel architecture. 64-bit kernel, installed but not activated by default. JFS2. Ability to run in a logical partition on POWER4 The L stands for Linux Affinity Trusted Computing Base TCB. Support for mirroring with striping X4.3.3, September 17, 1999 Online Backup Function Workload Manager WLM. Introduction of Topaz Utility X4.3.2, October 23, 1998 X4.3.1, April 24, 1998 First TCSEC Security Evaluation, completed December 18, 1998 X4.3, October 31, 1997 Ability to run on 64-bit architecture CPUs IPv6 Web-based System Manager X4.2.1, April 25, 1997 NFS version 3 Y2K compliant X4.2, May 17, 1996 X4.1.5, November 8, 1996 X4.1.4, October 20, 1995 X4.1.3, July 7, 1995 CDE 1.0 became the default GUI environment, replacing Motif Window Manager. X4.1.1, October 28, 1994 
X 4.1, August 12, 1994 X Ultimedia Services introduced multimedia drivers and applications X 4.0, 1994 Run on RS, 6000 systems with PO RPC processors and PCI buses X 3.2, 1992 X3.1 General Availability February 1990 Journaled File System JFS File System Type X3.0 1989 Early Access LVM Logical Volume Manager was incorporated into OS F1 and in 1995 for HP UX and the Linux LVM implementation is similar to the HP UX LVM implementation SMIT was introduced Topic. IBM System, 370 releases Topic. IBM PS, 2 releases XPS, 2 v 1.3, October 1992 Withdrawn from sale in U.S., March 1995 Patches supporting IBM ThinkPad 750C family of notebook computers, 1994 Patches supporting non-PS2 hardware and systems, 1993. XPS2 v1.2.1, May 1991. XPS2 v1.2, March 1990. XPS2 v1.1, March 1989. XPS2 1-16 user option, $795. XPS2 1-2 user option, 595. XPS 2 Extensions 275 XPS 2 DOS Merge 275 XPS 2 Usability Services 275 XPS 2 Text Formatting System 220 XPS 2 X Windows 214 XPS 2 VS Fortran 302 XPS 2 VS Pascal 302 XPS 2 C Language 302 XPS 2 Application Development Toolkit 192 XPS 2 Workstation Host Interface Program 441 XPS 2 Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol TCP IP 330 XPS 2 InMail 1, IN 2, INET 1, FTP 275, X Access for DOS users 164, X Windows for IBM DOS 214. Topic. IBM RT releases XRTV 2.2.1, March 1991. XRTV 2.2, March 1990 XRTV 2.1, March 1989 X Windows included on installation media XRTV 1.1, 1 .1, 1986 User interfaces The default shell was Born Shell up to X version 3, but was changed to Corn Shell KSH88 in version 4 in view of XPG4 and POSIX compliance. Topic: <laughs> Graphical. The common desktop environment CDE is AIX's default graphical user interface. As part of Linux Affinity and the Free X Toolbox for Linux Applications ATLA, open source KDE Plasma workspaces and GNOME Desktop are also available. Topic. System Management Interface Tool SMIT is the System Management Interface Tool for X. It allows a user to navigate a menu hierarchy of commands, rather than using the command line. Invocation is typically achieved with the command SMIT. Experienced system administrators make use of the F6 function key which generates the command line that SMIT will invoke to complete it. SMIT also generates a log of commands that are performed in the SMIT.script file. The SMIT.script file automatically records the commands with the command flags and parameters used. The SMIT.script file can be used as an executable shell script to rerun system configuration tasks. 
SMIT also creates the SMIT.log file, which contains additional detailed information that can be used by programmers in extending the SMIT system. SMIT and SMITI refer to the same program, though SMITI invokes the text-based version, while SMIT will invoke an X-Window system-based interface if possible. However, if SMIT determines that X-Window system capabilities are not present, it will present the text-based version instead of failing. Determination of X-Window system capabilities is typically performed by checking for the existence of the display variable. Topic database Object Data Manager ODM is a database of system information integrated into X, analogous to the registry in Microsoft Windows. A good understanding of the ODM is essential for managing X systems. Data managed in ODM is stored and maintained as objects with associated attributes. Interaction with ODM is possible via Application Programming Interface API library for programs, and command line utilities such as Omshow, OJ, Odmod, Omchange and Odemdelete for shell scripts and users. SMIT and its associated X commands can also be used to query and modify information in the ODM. Example of information stored in the ODM database are network configuration, logical volume management configuration, installed software information, information for logical devices or software drivers, list of all X supported devices, physical hardware devices installed, and their configuration menus, screens, and commands that SMIT uses. Topic see also AOS, IBM's educational market port of four. Bahamian dollars and thirty cents. IBM Powerha System Mirror, formerly HACMP. List of Unix systems. NMO and operating systems. Timeline service update management assistant. Vital product data. VPD. Topic references. Topic external links. IBM X. IBM X version comparison chart. X release life cycle view. X support life cycle information. X strength to strength summary of new functional enhancements in X and related products. X service and support best practices X LinkedIn group X fix central X user groups submit X request for enhancements X toolbox for Linux applications X version 7.2 knowledge center X version 7.1 knowledge center X version 6.1 information center X version 6.1 overview X version 5.3 documentation X virtual user group X ESA v2 R2 general information IBM systems X magazine IBM electronic Service Agent X Health Check Ru TVG.net, Independent Portal for X and Power X Shell Accounts X Commands, Tools, Scripts and Explanations 80 page marketing booklet from 1989 explaining IBM's X Vision at the time ODM programming documentation at IBM Object Data Manager in X6.1